Hello gaming world, and welcome to Through the Woods. This is a third person Norse horror adventure set in the forest of the western shores of Norway. It tells the story of a mother and her missing son. Um, through reactive narration, the player experiences the mother's retelling the events surrounding her son's disappearance. Players follow the path of a terrified mother who has forced herself to enter this terrible place for the sole purpose of finding her son in a setting heavily influenced by Norse mythology and Norwegian folk tales. With Through the Woods uh, antagonist have captured the feeling of the forest as they saw it with children. Saw it as children. With all the fear and mystery that comes with roaming through it alone, it is coupled with the powerful story and high quality sound design, which in the darkness of the forest becomes a core mechanic. Through the woods is a profound experience that directly delivers the feeling of loneliness and loss in a terrifying place. All right, let's see which one we gotta click here and give it a try. I'm glad to have y'all with me. If you would, please subscribe, like, share, and comment if you would. I love reading those comments. And we'll try to enjoy this together. Exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Okay, I have control now. What is this about? Can't open a door. Is that her car? That must be her car. This is a bridge. Hey. Deep out. But this is a child's playground. Yes. You know. Treehouse. I would love to go up there.
but I can't. Ooh. Oh. I'm way up. Ooh, toy cars. Monsters. Can't pick it up. Ooh. I used to like coming to the cabin better when mom wasn't so lame. She works all the time and sleeps all day. When I talk, she's only half listening. Don't know what's up with her. Just want to go home. I miss dad. Did we take it or quit? I used to like coming. Just want to go home. I miss dad. Okay. Bye. Okay, we took it. Ooh, what is this? A dead bird? Brothers, I found, I found a dead magpie. Let's go in the princess. Oh, why would I want to take it there? Nothing else, I guess. We'll keep wandering around. Well, we can't jump. Not that I see, anyway. streams and rivers. Let's go back this way. Anything over in the corner? You never know unless you look. I'm assuming that's mom's car. This is the more interesting way instead of going up to the house. Now there's the pier we were told to stay away from. So for the time being we'll search out the nooks and crannies here. But you know, me being a kid, I've got the Check out the pier. At least in a few moments anyway. No. Nothing back in that little corner there. up on that. Ooh. We can get down to the water. I can't 
can't step in it though, so I can't get my shoes wet. Mom will be happy about that. Well, you know what she said? Uh oh. Nah, I didn't go. Pizza's in the oven. Okay, call me. Okay. I'm coming, Mom. I'm so close to the pier, though. By all means, I should check it out. Pizza sure sounds good, though. But I really want to look down into the water. I really shouldn't. But I should. You know? It looks stable enough. The bridge was solid. Let's look. There's nothing to worry about here. What a beautiful spot. Yes. Nothing at all happened there. Although I was kind of expecting it to. What's over here? She said it was in the oven. That means it's not quite done yet. This is an interesting place. I hope I find more spots of interest. Okay, pizza should be done by now. Mom is so good to me. Hey mom, wake up. Mm -mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been... <sighs> I'm up. I'm sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. It's been... I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom. But it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you.
Look at the stars, Espen. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. We used to have an outhouse. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. We could make some hot chocolate. Mom! Go away! Just wait up the path. I can't go while you're standing there. <laughs> okay, little man. If you say so. We now have control of her. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Espen, hurry up. Really? You done, Espen? The door come open, but where's Espen? He's Espen? not in there now. He's not in there. Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. <laughs> Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. Oh, I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try to catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Pine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. Oh my gosh. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself or Espen. What's going on? 
has been. Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Hey, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring going out to play. Okay. Well, what am I to do? Oh. I might should cut that off. Well, I can't now. I might should walk far enough away. Espen? <sighs> it's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? Espen? I hope you're not down by the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Espen? Talk to me, little man. Go check on Espen. But what Espen failed to tell his mom is he had already been on the pier. And he hey! Knew. Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Uh oh! Jesus! Oh no! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming! Oh my goodness. We may leave the first episode here, and from here, we'll start and continue with the next episode. So, that is what we'll do. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and we'll see what happens in the next episode. I love you, bless you, and have yourself a great, fantastic day. Thanks.